Hello, today I'd like to show you a new feature that we have in the JD Edwards Enterprise One Tools Release 9.1.3. Now the name of this feature is called the Composite Application Framework, and what it allows you to do is to build in multiple views of information associated with the JD Edwards application and be able to display those all in one shot. So what this builds on is some of the historic features that we had in Enterprise One called Related Information Framework, and here's kind of a view of how that looked before. Now what we wanted to do was extend this framework to do a couple of things, to allow you to be more freeformly put the content where you want to put it instead of just being bound to the bottom of the page, and also be able to aggregate those into multiple layouts that are easily toggled between by users. So let's take a look at this one. Here's an example of related information, but maybe I want to do something that's not on the bottom. Maybe I want to have a pane of information with business intelligence on the right side. Now with related information and with this, you can see as I toggle between the grid, I can link my grid information to what is being displayed as filters into my business intelligence and have it basically contextually linked between the different applications. That's pretty slick. I can have one pane of information, but what if I want to bring in more information? Here's an example of maybe I'm an accounts or payable person working through a list of customers and I want additional information. So you can see here I'm bringing in things from a map that shows me the list of the customer's address. I'm bringing in some DSO monthly trend information related to how my organization's running, and then I'm also bringing in some invoice transactional detail, once again associated with the, the customer. So you see as I toggle between these, that information will dynamically change. One more example, let me show you some accounts payable information. Much like the previous one, you can see that I have a lot of grid information related to my business intelligence that's dynamically coming in and displaying in the application. So very easy to show the information, very easy to hide and show different values. Maybe I didn't want to see the payable snapshot on the side all the time, but I can hide it on the side or go ahead and bring it over. So that's a quick runtime view of how this works. Now I know what you're saying, this looks pretty slick, I can bring in all this content, but gosh, how much is this going to cost? How many developers am I going to have to bring in to build this application? Are there tool sets that I have to bring in to, bring, to build these composite apps? And the answer should be zero. This is really defined and designed as an end user or power user type of feature to be able to design this. So let me show you how easy this is done. Up on the top of the page we have this personalization and edit current page. And what that does is it puts my application into a design mode. And I can either go and modify the existing layout or I can add a new layout. Now if I have content that I've used before, we've got this nice little feature that remembers those and allows me to be able to reuse these between different frames of information. So I have that payable trend that I showed you earlier. I could just drag and drop that. Now look how easy it is for me to decide where this goes on the page. It was that simple to be able to add in content that I've used before. Now if I've got content I haven't used before that I need to bring in, you've got some of the options you had with related information. So I can drag and drop the URL. Once again, look where I want to put it. So oh, here, here, I think this looks good. I'm going to use the classic example of a map here just to show you how easy it is to create web content. My administrator's been nice enough to set up a template for this URL that I'm putting into the system. And as before, very easy to map content into the parameters of this URL to grid information. So I'm just clicking the, the um, uh, plus button there in order to link those. And with a few steps, I've got a map linked to my grid information that will dynamically change as I change. Last thing I want to show you here is how to bring in business intelligence information. So I can go into the, or the Oracle Business Intelligence Engine, decide where I'm going to drop that. Now what this is doing is this is pinging out to a BI server that we have here. It's bringing back all the different reports that I have access to. I'm a pretty important person here, so I've got lots of reports, so it's taking a second to bring back that list of available reports. You can see I've got lots of stuff I can look at, but in this case I'm going to take a look at some financial information, payables, AP transactions. Yeah, I think this report looks good. It gives me a quick visual of it. And like you can for the business intelligence, I can go ahead and change the filter information here to be associated with the grid. Save that, and with a few steps, you can see how I've created a composite application on the fly. I can then save that layout, call it my demo layout, and there it is. I've got it now. I can go ahead and use this layout as much as I want in a very simple step. So thank you for sitting through this presentation. I think you'll find this an exciting new feature, and we look forward to you using it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.